Happy birthday to legendary former WWE diva Terry Runnels and legendary NBA player Grant Hill. X-Man 1991 back again with a celebrity birthday rant. You already read the title of the video, so let's get right into it. Today would have been the 65th birthday of legendary actor and my all-time favorite comedian, Bernard Jeffrey McAuliffe, simply known as Bernie Mac. Yes, sir. Bernie Mac is best known for being in movies such as Mo Money, Booty Call, The Players Club, House Party 3, Above the Rim, Friday, Head of State, Babs, Charlie's Angels, The Ocean's Trilogy Series, What's the Worst That Can Happen, Life, Mr. 3000, Bad Santa, Guess Who, and Transformers as well as Soul Man. He was one of the four original kings of comedy along with Steve Harvey, D.L. Hughley, and Cedric the Entertainer. He's also known for having his own television sitcom on Fox, The Bernie Mac Show, from 2001 to 2006. And he won two Emmy he earned two Emmy nominations for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Comedy Series. Last time I did a video on Bernie Mac was the 10th anniversary of his death. Now I'm doing another video on Bernie Mac, this time in honor of his birthday. It's amazing how both Bernie Mac and Isaac Hayes have big birthdays the same year. Their last birthdays when they were still alive, was in 2007. Bernie Mac was turning 50, Isaac Hayes was turning 65. Now, Isaac Hayes would have been 80 and Bernie Mac would have been 65. So, let's get right into it, man. Bernie Mac was born Bernard Jeffrey McCullough in the south side of Chicago on October 5th, 1957. He was the second child of his late mother, Mary McCullough, and Jeffrey Harrison. Bernie Mac was raised by his mom, who died of cancer when he was 16 years old, and his grandparents on the city's west side of Chicago. Bernie Mac began his high school career at Chicago Vocational High School during 1973. He moved to Tampa, Florida to attend Jesuit High School following the death of his mother during his sophomore year. Shortly afterward, Bernie Mac's older sister and his restrained father both died. He later returned to Chicago and graduated from Chicago Vocational High School in 1975. He married his high school sweetheart, Rhonda Mack, on September 17, 1977. They have one daughter named Janice, and he has a granddaughter named Jasmine, who is Janice's daughter. During his 20s and through his early 30s, Bernie Mack worked in a variety of jobs, including janitor, coach, professional mover, cook, bus driver, Sears delivery man, furniture mover, and UPS agent while doing comedy on the weekends at clubs and parties. Bernie Mac's influences were The Three Stooges and listening to stand-up comedians The Late Richard Pryor and The Late Red Fox. Mac started as a stand-up comedian in Chicago's Cotton Club. After he won the Miller Lite Comedy Search at the age of 32, his popularity as a comedian began to grow. A performance on HBO's Deaf Comedy Jam thrust him into the spotlight. After Martin Lawrence was unable to calm the increasingly hostile crowd, Mac went on stage and famously said, I ain't scared of you motherfuckers, <laughs> telling the audience that he didn't come here for no foolishness. Bernie Mac 
Bernie Mac opened for Donnie Warwick, the late Red Fox, and Natalie Cole. Bernie Mac played Christopher Kidd Reed's uncle, Uncle Vester, in the 1994 movie House Party 3. He also had a short-lived talk show on HBO titled Midnight Mac. Later, Bernie Mac also acted in minor roles playing Mr. Johnson, the no-nonsense owner of a grill and diner in the movie Babs. And he got his big break as the pastor in Friday. Of course, Bernie Mac played Big Bad Dollar Bill in the movie The Players Club. Mac was able to break from the traditional black comedy genre, having roles in the 2001 remake Ocean's Eleven and becoming the new Bosley for the Charlie's Angels sequel, Charlie's Angels Full Throttle. Of course, he played Jen Slagle, the store dick in Bad Santa. He also started in the 2005 movie Guess Who along with Ashton Kutcher. Of course, he played in the 2003 movie Head of State along with Chris Rock. Bernie Mac became one of the four original kings of comedy with Steve Harvey, D.L. Hughley, and Cedric the Entertainer. In 2001, Fox gave Bernie Mac an opportunity to have his own television sitcom on the network. You all know his TV show is based on his real life story about his sister uh, on drugs and she had to go to rehab and Bernie taking his three sisters kids in. The Bernie Mac show ran for five seasons and 104 episodes from November 14, 2001 to April 14, 2006. Of course, Bernie Mac breaks the fourth wall talking to the television audience, referring to them as America. Come on, America. When I say I want to kill those kids, you know what I mean. I remember uh, before a new episode of the Bernie Mac show came on, Bernie Mac wore a Chicago's White Sox jersey as he congratulated the Chicago White Sox for winning the 2005 World Series. Of course, you know, he is a Chicago White Sox fan because he is from Chicago. The show was not renewed after the 2005-2006 season. The show never actually got a proper ending. The series finale aired on Friday, April 14, 2006. It pretty much ended on a cliffhanger where Bernie and Wanda were trying to adopt a baby, which had been abandoned a few episodes earlier. Bernie Mac played as a retired baseball player named He played a retired baseball player named Stan Ross in the 2004 movie Mr. 3000. In the 2003 National League Championship Series, Bernie Mac sang Take Me Out to the Ball Game at Wrigley Field with the Chicago Cubbies leading the Florida Marlins in the Series 3 games to 2 in, and in Game 6 by a 2-0 to zero score at the time. It would soon be 3-0 and oh in the bottom of the 7th inning. Instead of saying Root Root, root for the Cubbies. Bernie Mac said, root, root, root for the champs, champs. Unfortunately, the Cubbies lost the game following a Steve Bartman incident and the series with some fans claiming that Bernie Mac helped jinx the Cubs. Bernie Mac later admitted that he hated the North Side's Cubs his whole life being a diehard Chicago White Sox fan that led the Chicago White Sox winning the 2005 World Series. Bernie Mac was number 72 on Comedy Central's list of the 100 greatest stand-ups of all time. 
On March 19, 2007, Bernie Mac told David Letterman on the CBS Late Show with David Letterman that he would retire from his 30-year career after he finished shooting the comedy film The Whole Truth, Nothing But The Truth, So Help Me Mac. I'm going to still do my producing, my films, but I want to enjoy my life a little bit, Mac told Letterman. I miss a lot of things, you know. I was a street performer for two years. I went into clubs in 1977 and was on the road 47 weeks out of the year. Bernie Mac's last three movies that was released during his lifetime was the movie Pride, Ocean's 13, and Transformers. Bernie Mac made a guest appearance on Moesha where he played Uncle Bernie for nine episodes. He also played Shank in one episode of the Waynes Bros. And I do remember he voiced the character Mac in one episode of King of the Hill. He also hosted... Saturday Night Live in 2003. Bernie Mac has pretty much discovered health problems in the summer of 2004. In the summer of 2004, Bernie Mac began discovering health problems when he was filming both Ocean's 12 and Guess Who while still promoting Mr. 3000. He was also set to film the last episodes of the fourth season of the Bernie Mac show, but production was shut down due to Bernie's illness. During the last four years of his life, Bernie Mac suffered a uh, sarcoidosis, which was related to a lung disease. On August 1st, 2008, Bernie Mac was admitted to the Northwestern Memorial Hospital in his hometown of Chicago. They said he was responding to treatment and that he will be released from the hospital the next week. But after a week of unsuccessful medical treatment, Bernie Mac went into a cardiac arrest and died during the early morning hours of August 9, 2008 from complications of pneumonia at the age of 50. Two months before his 51st birthday on October 5th, and of course, Isaac Hayes died the next day on August 10th. His funeral was held on August 16th at the House of Hope Church with nearly 7,000 people in attendance. Notable mourners at Bernie Mac's funeral were Chris Rock, Chicago Mayor Richard M. Daly, Samuel Jackson, Ashton Kutcher, Don Cheadle, the cast members of the Bernie Mac show, Kalita Smith, Jeremy Suarez, Camille Wimbush, and Dee Dee Davis. And of course, his fellow kings of comedy, Steve Harvey, D.L. Hughley, and Cedric the Entertainer. Three movies were released posthumously after Bernie Mac's death. These two movies were released the same day. Madagascar, Escape to Africa, where he voiced the character Zuba. And of course, we all know he played Floyd Henderson in Soul Men. And Isaac Hayes was in that movie too. And the end of the movie was dedicated to both of these legends. The last movie that was released a year after his death was Old Dogs, where he played the character Jimmy Lunchbox. The movie also started John Travolta and the late Robin Williams. On November 14th, 2016, the 15th anniversary of the Bernie Mac show, during Steve Harvey's, uh, the airing of Steve Harvey's talk show, Steve Harvey read a pro proclamation, proclamation from Chicago Mayor Ryan Emanuel proclaiming November 14th as Bernie Mac Day. So they claim that the day the Bernie Mac show premiered on Fox will be Bernie Mac Day, November 14th. 
Bernie Mac's guests include his wife, Rhonda, his daughter, Jasmine, and his granddaughter, granddaughter, Janice, and his granddaughter, Jasmine, as well as Bernie Mac's original Kings of Comedy co-stars, D.L. Hughley and Cedric the Entertainer, as well as Guy Torrey, one of Bernie Mac's co-stars for the movie Life. On Valentine's Day of 2017, Rolling Stone named Bernie Mac number 41 of the 50 best stand-up comics of all time. Wow, I can't believe Bernie Mac would have been 65. He was 50 when he passed. It's been 14 years since he passed. I just can't believe Bernie Mac would have been 65. So I just can't believe Bernie Mac will always be my favorite comedian of all time. I know I have a lot of other favorite comedians like Martin Lawrence, Steve Harvey, John Witherspoon, rest in peace, Robin Harris, rest in peace, Chris Rock, Dave Chappelle, etc. But Bernie Mac will be my all time favorite comedian. He's been my all time favorite comedian since he became one of the original kings of comedy. And when he had his own show, the Bernie Mac show. I still watch reruns of Bernie Mac to this day on YouTube and on the channel Aspire. So, with that being said, that's going to wrap up my rant celebrating what would have been the 65th birthday of Bernie Mac. Let me know in the comments down below, what are your, some of your favorite movies with Bernie Mac? And is Bernie Mac one of your favorite comedians, top five favorite comedians of all time? Let me know in the comments below. Like this video if you like it. Hit subscribe if you like the content and hit that notification bell. For my next rant on one of my favorite celebrities big birthday i'll be back later tonight to reminisce 24 years of stone cold steve austin attacking vince mcmahon at the hospital from the october 5th 1998 edition of raw is war bernie mac's 41st birthday of raw is war happy heavenly 65th birthday to the late great bernie mac